Hello everybody, my name is Cyvex and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Minecraft 1.21 server and also port forward using the play it method. So first, we're going to want to create a folder on our desktop and name it server. So you just right click, new, folder, name it server. Inside of server, you'll want to find view, then hit show, and make sure that file name extensions is checked. This will allow us to rename the files later that we need for the server to work. Next, we're going to want to download Java 21. In order to do this, let's go to Google Chrome. And let's just type in Java 21, download. And we're going to go to Oracle. And we can find JDK 21, Windows, or whatever version you're using. And let's do the 64 MSI installer. And you'll see up here that a download is in progress. And then once it's done downloading, we can just click it, wait for it to open, next, next, yes, and then wait for it to be done. Now that Java is installed, let's install the Minecraft server. So let's go to a new tab, type mcversions.net. Click on 1.21 under stable releases and then hit download server jar. And then once that's downloaded, you can take it from here and drag it into your server folder. So now in your server folder, you can right click, show more options, new text document, control A to select it and rename it to run.bat, hit yes, then we can right click show more options and edit. And I already have this command made, so you can just copy and paste from the description. We're just gonna hit Control C to copy and then Control V. And we're gonna hit File, Save, and then we can run our server for the first time. And you'll see after the first time, it'll fail and say that you need to agree to the EULA. So we can hit Enter, open the EULA, Change this to true and file, save, and then run our server again to get it to boot up. And there you go. Congratulations. You've just set up your 1.21 vanilla Minecraft server. But you might be asking, do you want to change the difficulty? Do you want to allow flight? Or maybe you want to disable PVP? Well, in order to do that, we can type stop in our console. And you'll see that it safely shuts down the server. And then we can right click on server properties and hit edit a notepad and you'll see all these settings like allow flight, you can change it to true, or if you need the difficulty to be higher, you can just change this to hard. Um, or if you want it to be hardcore, you can change this to true, yada, yada. So this is your main hub uh, for making changes to the server. Maybe you don't want to play with 20 people. You can just move this down to three. Uh, let's say you're doing some custom things with, you know, command blocks and different things like that. They're, all the settings are in there for you to change. And then all you have to do is hit file save. And then you can run your server again and all those changes will be applied. So just to confirm this is set up, you can go to multiplayer, hat server, and we're just going to type in localhost. Hit done and then double click to join. And you'll see that I popped right in. But you might be thinking, well, how do I play with friends? Well, in the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just in your console, type stop in order to stop the server. Then we can go to Google Chrome and type in playit.gg. And then you'll want to hit login and it'll ask you to log in. In my case, I've already logged in, so I don't need to do that step. Once you're logged in, go ahead and go to downloads and then go ahead and click on the Windows installer and you'll see that it downloads the Play It program. Go ahead and click on it, hit next, next, and install, and then hit yes, and finish. Then, in the search bar, you can type play it, and open it. So you'll see it's checking if a secret key is valid, and it asks you to visit this link to set up. So you can highlight this link and hit control C. Let's go back to our Chrome tab, and paste this in. And then you'll see that it says waiting for agent to connect. Then it's going to check. And here you'll see it's a request coming from this program to your IP address. 
and you'll hit continue and then hit add agent and then once again it's just going to wait to connect to the servers and then we're going to want to hit create tunnel so you'll see here that it says add tunnels here and it should match this link up here so we can just hit add tunnel select tunnel type minecraft java game make sure enable tunnel is checked and hit add tunnel and it'll say your tunnel is pending and then when it's done pending you'll see up here that it has one tunnel registered so you can see now that we have one tunnel registered and it gives us this tunnel link we're going to copy this by hitting Control C and let's go back into our server folder and run the server and wait for the server to load and once the server is loaded we can go back to Minecraft hit add server paste in the link that it gave you hit done and then join the server and you'll see that I am successfully logged in to my Minecraft server using playit.gg and it's online for your friends to join. And that's about it. You can just minimize both your server and minimize the playit.gg console and you're able to play Minecraft online with your friends in Minecraft 1.21. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, subscribe, comment if you need help. I always put my Discord in the description and if there's anything else I can do, please let me know and I'd be glad to assist you. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.